Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and in today's video, I'm going to reveal two black tie alternatives for those looking to mix things up. Whenever it comes to formal wear, there is nothing more formal and better looking than a black tie tuxedo. This is, next to tails, of course, the pinnacle of formal wear. And if you wanna be the best dressed man in the room, Wearing black tie, a tuxedo, following all the rules is what's going to get you there. Now we have an entire video dedicated to the rules of black tie, so I'm not going to get into the minutia in this video, but you can find this video by clicking the link in the upper right hand corner or by clicking the link in the description of this video. Now this is traditional black tie, a simple bow tie, a white bibbed shirt, studs, a, a black tuxedo jacket with its lapel facings uh, in satin, cummerbund, of course, with the pleats facing upwards, uh, traditional trousers, uh, I prefer single pleats. Of course, you've got your single satin stripe right here. And then again, when it comes to footwear, a nice pair of 100% silk sheer socks. And if you're bold, a pair of bow tie opera pumps, which in my opinion, is the most classic and elegant pair of shoes one can wear. Now let's say you wanna mix this up. Let's say that you know, you're know you looking to make a little bit of an entrance. You wanna be a little bit bolder, a little bit more striking. Uh, the reality is in today's world, uh, the rules of black tie have blurred a little bit. A hundred years ago, you had to stick to those rules. Otherwise, uh, you'd be ostracized as someone uh, clearly not part of the social elite. Uh, but that is not the case these days. Uh, today, it is certainly much more acceptable to push the boundaries a little bit, to have a little bit more fun. And in this video, I'm gonna show you two relatively conservative alternatives to the classic tuxedo jacket. But the cummerbund, the shirt, and the slacks really do need to remain the same. So I'm gonna keep these the same in this video but change my jacket and my shoes to show you how just with a few tweaks, you can dramatically change the look of your black tie outfit. Now this is the first bespoke garment I had made. It was my wedding tuxedo. A bespoke tailor, Chris Despis, based in Chicago, but traveling between there and Dallas, made this for me. It's over 10 years old. Uh, it's been let out maybe once or twice, but really goes to show you that if you invest in quality, it really can uh, go the distance. So the first alternative that I had made uh, is a beautiful dark black watch dinner jacket. Now this, uh, again, is very striking. A black watch is a particular type of plaid. It's registered. Uh, it is uh, alternating black, dark green, and this one even has a little bit of blue in it. Uh, it's traditionally associated with Scottish formal wear. You would have, of course, the black watch tartans uh, that you would wear formally there. Now this uh, might even be classified as a little bit of a hack because it can uh, be worn multiple different ways. You'll see that the lapel facing here is not done in satin, which allows this to be worn uh, with a tuxedo, like what I have now, or you could wear it uh, with a pair of uh, dark gray, even black trousers uh, at night, uh, even a pair of jeans, to be honest, uh, to dinner. So let me put this on and show you how it looks. Now the only thing that this needs is a nice little white pocket square, so I'm gonna throw this uh, in the pocket right there to really pull this look together. So you can see right here with the full black tie setup, it really looks great. Now another thing that I love about this black watch fabric, again, is how subtle it is. In low light, it could almost be mistaken for a black tuxedo jacket. But you walk in a room with this, it's certainly going to set you apart from the crowd and really, in my opinion, is such a subtle touch of sophistication to an otherwise classically elegant outfit. So what's another way to mix this up? Well, the next way to mix up an outfit like this is by changing the footwear. I'm wearing it right now with a simple pair of bow tie opera pumps, but you could switch it up with a pair of slippers. And I have two right here to show you what those might look like. Uh, I've got a simple pair of uh, green, forest green, uh, velvet slippers from Foster and Sons. Uh, and then I have a custom kind of midnight blue a pair of velvet slippers that I had made by Foster and Sons with my monogram. So let's put these on and see how they look. So first, let's go with the more obvious choice. Uh, these bottle green, of course, bringing out some of the green in this jacket. So again, and anything uh, with formal wear, you don't want to coordinate too closely. You really want to accent color. So the green is a secondary color in this jacket. These green slippers work great. Now again, slippers would be something that generally uh, I would recommend more for home uh, than going out. But if you wanted to pull it off, you're looking for, I don't know, just a different look. 
Your footwear is certainly a way to mix that up. And a pair of velvet slippers uh, is perfectly acceptable with black tie. Now, I certainly would never recommend wearing slippers with black tie without socks. Uh, that is a bridge too far even for me. Now let's try this second pair of velvet slippers. Uh, this is a beautiful uh, dark navy with a monogram uh, and a beautiful kind of blue there. One of my favorite pair of slippers I own. Again, I have this made uh, custom by Foster & Sons. Try these on and wow, I have to say this is probably my favorite of the two pairs. Incredibly elegant and again, that custom monogram is just a touch of sophistication of these slippers that really set them apart uh, and really make them appropriate for black tie, which is generally reserved for special occasions. If you like this look, give us a thumbs up right now during the video. Now this you could call a subtle alternative to the standard dinner jacket. It's not wild, it's not crazy, certainly fun, certainly will set you apart from the rest of the crowd. And if you go to a black tie event wearing a jacket like this, it's very unlikely you're gonna find anyone else wearing the same jacket. But if you wanna take things up a notch, if you wanna be a little bit more bold, there is yet another alternative to the dinner jacket that is perfectly acceptable, and that is the smoking jacket. Now the smoking jacket might be one of the most fun alternatives there is out there. It's certainly the most striking. A hundred years ago, you would go to dinner wearing your traditional dinner jacket. This was non-negotiable. But after dinner, as men would retire to the library for cigars and a port, they would switch their dinner jackets out for a velvet smoking jacket. The idea here is the thick velvet would help absorb that smoke and prevent it from getting into the rest of their clothing so that whenever they went home at night, they weren't stinking of cigars. Now traditional high quality fabrics, natural fabrics, naturally release those odors, but it was a little bit of protection. So let's put this on and see how it looks. Wow, <laughs> this is an exceptional jacket. Uh, now this was made for me by Davidge at davidge.com and uh, it took quite a bit of time to make just because of all the work that went in uh, to the frogging, which is the embroidery that you see decorating the edges of the lapel and the sleeve. Now traditionally this would be made in your gem colors, uh, here in emerald green, sapphire blue, or ruby red. Uh, either one of those is uh, perfectly appropriate. The frogging really takes it up a notch. Now this is a detail that's difficult for all but the most talented tailors uh, to reproduce, but you can see it really takes this up a notch. Now in the scope of black tie formal wear, uh, this traditionally would be a little bit on the less formal side because you're wearing it after dinner while lounging around. That's why these slippers really are such a great uh, combination here. Uh, it really goes with that kind of lounging at home aesthetic. Uh, and you can see that this is a beautiful and striking jacket. Now this was modeled after the British officer's mess, which is formal dinner, a dinner jacket. So again, the jacket is a little bit shorter. It was cut double-breasted, shawl collar, uh, and the frogging. Now the velvet was that touch that really made it into a smoking jacket. And as you can see, uh, it is exceptionally elegant and very striking and perfectly acceptable for black tie formal wear. Let me know what you think of this jacket. I wore it in our most recent 200,000 subscriber celebratory black tie live stream. And I have to say, uh, it felt great and I got tons of compliments. Now I wasn't wearing it with these beautiful slippers. I was wearing it with my patent leather opera pumps. Uh, so let's try those on and see how they look with this outfit. So I'm not gonna try this on with the green velvet slippers. I think there's a little bit too much clashing here. Let's push those aside and then try on the opera pumps. One of these days I'm gonna have a pair of opera pumps made bespoke. For black tie, it's such a special occasion. Uh, why not really elevate it in every way possible? Now here, beautiful davidge.com smoking jacket, bow tie, pleated tuxedo shirt, studs and cuffs, nice tuxedo trousers, cummerbund, a pair of nice silk dress socks, and of course these opera pumps. So dressing up for black tie is one of the things that I enjoy the most, so much that I seek out even create these opportunities, and those that have seen one of our black tie live streams certainly know that. But black tie is something that doesn't have to be one dimensional. You can really mix things up and make them interesting, either by the cuts of your tuxedo, by mixing up the bow ties, changing the jackets, and even changing the shoes. So in this video, we reviewed three different looks, one being the most traditional, the most formal, a simple, elegant black tie tuxedo. Then we switched that up with a beautiful black watch dinner jacket, which again, one of my favorites. Changing out the slippers, 
finally settling on a beautiful navy pair of embroidered uh, slippers. And then finally, here as I'm wearing right now, my davich.com smoking jacket in a beautiful emerald green uh, and my upper pumps. Three great looks, three totally appropriate variations of your black tie, and three ways that you can have fun going out to your next party. Now, of course, at kirbyallison.com, we have a full assortment of black tie accessories from the bow ties to the studs, cufflinks, pocket square, braces, cummerbunds, and even your 100% silk dress socks. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments section below. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you check the description of this video for links to other videos on black tie. Otherwise, I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality craftsmanship and tradition. Thanks for watching.